in my trip cup, that's two times two Man, this shit doggin' in the wall time, so You know I ain't ballin', usual like Kobe And also, another thing I wanna harp on is We're talking about America And, you know, we've been having a lot of talk about How Colin Kaepernick was always right And that, you know, Drew Brees got crucified For speaking up for the flag And all this different stuff People need to understand, guys. We've done also, as I alluded to earlier, a poor job of containing this virus. And America isn't perfect. So when I went to New England and, you know, went to UMass and stuff, I obviously noticed a sense of more patriotism from them because, you know, New England is one of, or Massachusetts in itself is one of those original colonies. You know, there's a lot of history, American history about Massachusetts. Hell, their football team is fucking called the Patriots. For God's sake. Here in, in California, there's a lot more immigrants. It's about La Migra and like every diverse culture under the sun. So people are less all about America. America, you know what I'm saying? The thing is, I am going to sit here and tell you, I am blessed to be living in this country. And all of us are. America is one of the greatest fucking countries in the world. However, just because we're one of the greatest countries in the world, it's just like nobody's perfect. LeBron James is perfect, but he's got flaws. America is great, but it has its fucking flaws. Why don't people understand? Like, just because Colin Kaepernick doesn't stand up and put his right hand over his heart for a song, a song, guys, doesn't mean he doesn't love America. And everyone's acting like he's, like, the first person to do this. Like, brush up on your history a bit. Chris Jackson, who converted to Islam, the point guard for the Denver Nuggets in the 90s, he renamed himself Mahmoud Abdul Rauf. He got blackballed by the NBA because he wouldn't stand up for the anthem in the 90s. And now when we have social media, Colin Kaepernick's getting a bunch of love now. But he was the first, one of the first people to do it. And he doesn't get talked about at all. So, guys, we can acknowledge that America's great while also admitting its flaws. And right now, man, like, we, are, we have a lot of flaws. 